Oh, hey. I'm sorry, the taxi fee there, I think. Okay, um, I had just thought that I was going to um, just do a review on the film Black Panther, the, you know, Marvel Studios film Black Panther. Then I realized so many people are doing reviews or whatever it is. I'm going like, yeah, okay, let me do something different. So first of all, I had the, had the ancillary observations of about, about seven of them, you know, um, that I've done in the last week or so. Um, but then I thought, uh, then, then I, um, I finally caught up a, a man from, uh, Red, from uh, Red Spirit Mass, and he did something about basically commenting on comments about the thing. And I had that thought too. So he said, oh, I wonder how these kind of things are. I had that same thought too. So I started taking notes, you know? So here are some of the notes I have. And, and some of the things I, I just find kind of interesting. First of all, Everybody knows this is a Marvel film, Marvel movie, Marvel Studios film, which means there's certain conventions that it has. Now, was the first shocking thing to us, I say shocking, the first thing that came to, to, to my mind, that noted in my mind, is that the form, the Marvel formula is, is straight across the board. You know, they, they, they have these formulas people fit into. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Ryan, Ryan Coogler and his crew, uh, they, they did the Marvel formula, but they have some sort of twist, some interesting twist to it. To give you an idea, and this is purely, uh, I guess it's almost like spiritual. Uh, I haven't been to a m proper movie theater in a very, very long time. The first time I actually wanted to go was last year. Yeah, last year this time, I wanted to see Get Out, but I couldn't, uh, when I could go down, because you know, I have to go like two hours from where I am right now. I'm in Alice, you know, it's a little, that's called a little, little rural, it's not that rural, but it's, it's, a, it's a little farm town here. And it's like two hours before we get to the first uh, major, major uh, movie theater, which would be in, in East London. So, uh, so I wanted to get out, but I couldn't see it in the movie theater. Somebody got me a copy because that's the way it is. And in Africa is kind of interesting when they do these uh, worldwide box office suites, suites or whatever have you. Now, not a whole lot of uh, first-run movie theaters in, in certain parts of Africa. Here, like for instance, where I'm, we have one here. There's one in Port Elizabeth. Uh, I guess the next big one would be uh, there, in, 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 you know, wherever, just Cape Town, Joburg, you know, Durban, something like that. Uh, so, so it's hard to see a film. So they, when the box office receipts come in, sometimes they don't even count Africa as much as they will count like China or, or even some of these movies premiering in South, South Korea, of course, the, 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 um, uh, Australia, um, you know, the Northern Hemisphere, right? that kind of thing. So, so I'm looking at this thing and I'm going like, the Marvel thing, and I'm going like, well, the, the, the film that I've seen last before Black Panther in a proper movie theater was Thor Ragnarok. And I liked it, you know, it was fun, blah, 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 blah. But then I start to think, and I realized Thor Ragnarok and Black Panther has a similar formulas, you know, the, the, the father died, it's similar formulas. It, it, it just has. And, 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 and even, even the, say for instance, the villain in, in uh, Sokovo, the protagonist, the, the antagonist, in Black Panther, I'd rather say antagonist. The antagonist in Black Panther is, is as we all know, Eric Killmonger, uh, aka uh, uh, Jataka. Uh, so you, so you, you would say, okay, what do, what do you, what do you mean by that? Well, the 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 uh, antagonist in Thor Ragnarok is Helga, the older sister. You know, well, that's the. It's like the same, really, it's kind of the same formula, the same, the same thing. Um, you have a you have a thing, and, and of course Helga and Killmonger are like two of the baddest, you know, antagonists there all there have ever been. Nobody even gives Helga some credit. And, and, and let's let's say the women warriors, okay? Okay, you see the women, women warriors, you know, you know the Dora Milaje, they're there, the, the Dora Milaje, they're, they're they're there. But nobody talks about the Valkyrie, which which the Tessa Thomas um, Thompson the character is, you know, the last surviving. Person, but that's a bad female warriors. They're right there. It's it's there. It's the same formula, but nobody acknowledges that you know Thor Ragnarok and, and Black Panther are basically similar films. You know, it's kind of interesting to me. Okay, let me leave that alone. Okay, we have to remember we're talking characters versus characteristics. Okay. Like, so, for instance, a, a, a character, like everybody, okay, everybody's all hopped up on a Michael B. Jordan a character um, playing Eric uh, uh, um and Deja, uh, and Jadadaka, that's how I how he pronounces his name, uh, and, 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 and they talk about him as if, uh, you know, or just the greatest villain, blah, 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 no, no, 
okay, you, you want to say that, whatever happened. Uh, uh, and a lot of black Americans are identifying with Killmonger. And I'm going like, no, nah, well, if you want to identify with Killmonger, it's a certain, I get you with the, you know, the absent father, whatever, whatever, you know, the, 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 un, the, the warrior, whatever it is, he's, he's the, the famous, the famous of this line, what's, what's that line? Oh, um, um, I think I could write it, he would write that, but I can remember it. You know, I, I'd rather die, you know, basically die like my ancestors, you know, in, um, uh, die like my ancestors in, 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 in Atlantic Ocean, you know, take that vibe with me and, and to live, in, and to live as, as a prisoner, you know, of, of, my, of my cousin, I guess, because, you know, uh, the problem that um, uh, T'Challa has is basically, you know, he's just stepping into his kingdomness. You know, and and he's so he's, he's just sort of getting used to it. He hasn't been groomed. I guess he's been groomed from a from a child to to basically be a king. But this is the first time he has to step into it unexpectedly. Okay, unexpectedly. Now at the same time, if you if you look at it, the Killmonger character, he has been groomed as a warrior, as a killer, his whole entire life. Not as a king, but as a killer. Okay, that's almost if you want to do the African American route. In other words, we're most of us. We've been trained as killers, you know. Uh, and I don't like to go that route because I don't. I don't want to go that route. I, I say we're, we're trained as spies. I've always said this. African Americans, that the experience of African Americans in North America, we are basically spies. We're supposed to bring this information back to Africa, of how to live for liberation. Right? And it doesn't mean that we kill us, we kill we kill ourselves before we give the information back to Africa. And when people talk about Wakanda, oh you know, Wakanda's a fictional place, blah blah blah. Ah, okay, I, I get that, you know, people don't really understand the comic book. But when I look at Wakanda, this is the this is the key to me. I remember uh, we used to say Africa, well, you know, well, well Africa is, is not a is not a country, it's a continent, you know. And we always get this mixed up with Africa. They would say Africa in the same breath they would say a country. But to me, that's right. I think it's correct. Africa is not is 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 a country. <laughs> okay, it's a continent. It's a country. In other words, because those all those little you know lines that we drew up, you know, that they did in the Berlin Conference or whatever, maybe they made the countries out of. Well, that's not real. They're not they're not real either. The countries that we celebrate as like Kenya. And, 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 and Djibouti and, and Morocco and whatever you want to say, you know, Mali, whatever, all those countries, that, 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 that's not, no, it doesn't come from an African perspective. For me, Wakanda, if we're going to say Wakanda, look, Wakanda is, <laughs> Wakanda from, from Gambia, from, from Western Sahara, Morocco, all the way down to Lesotho and Swaziland and South Africa, these are all, this, this is Wakanda. The entire planet, I mean, the, planet, the entire co co continent is Wakanda. Now, if you want to isolate, say, say, this is Lesotho, this is surrounded by mountains, you know, whatever it is, you know, but if you want to say, well, I can take Lesotho and make like, make like this whole thing is a border. The whole African continent, including Madagascar, it's through Madagascar, it is, is a border. That's, that is, you understand, I mean, is this too confusing to folks? It's not sort of clear to me. I, it doesn't matter to me, you know? So wait, let me, like, I'm getting all emotional about this. I don't want to be. Now, uh, what, what, what are the, the, so, so we have this whole thing, is African Americans think they're identifying with this film, but they don't understand this film is not, it's not an African American film. It's a film uh, throwing a kiss, a, 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 um, a black, a, a black American kiss to Africa. This celebrates Africa, not Africa, not the African American experience. I mean, think about it, right? And and and, and I'm appreciative that that we have some brothers, you know, from from brothers from, from from Oakland, you know, <laughs> or from the South, that basically you know, saying, yeah, let's let's celebrate Africa before we go into other things. If you understand Ryan Coogler, if you want to go this deep or whatever, have you Ryan Coogler? Remember, his first film, well, the first notable film, as you say, is, is Fruitville Station. That's talking about African-American experience, right? Then he does Rocky. That, that's, that's a personal story with him and his relationship with his father and then how they grew up with Rocky and then that's appreciative. Then the next one he does is Black Panther, which celebrates Africa, okay? The one after, I don't know what he's going to do next, but supposedly he's supposed to be doing something about... Um, uh, there's this school situation in Atlanta where the teachers and people got in trouble because the principal and the teachers were, were helping the children, you know, um, 
uh, to, to, to pass grades so they can go on to the next to high school, to the next level or whatever it is, college, something like that. So I, I, so, I mean, there's so many wonderful uh, memes that, that, that come along just from so many levels, like everybody likes, likes M'Baku, right? Especially his line, his great line, and I really identify with this line when he says, when he tells them to do something to him, and they, people get all, all nervous, says, oh, no, we're not going to eat you or something like that. I said, no, I'm only kidding, we're vegetarians. Great, fun, 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 fun line. Okay, what impressed me, also this is impression, it, it, it depends on what you bring to, to a film. Like, I've traveled a lot of places on the planet. One of the places I've been was up there in, 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 uh, in Quebec, in Canada, right all the way up there where the geese fly home. And if you go up that far, you will see the northern lights. It's a magnetic kind of electronic, electro, well, magnetic kind of thing, but the sky sort of changes color. So that astral plane that you see when he's visiting his, 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 his ancestral fathers or whatever happened, that's just very powerful. But you don't just see this in, in the African plains. And that tree that you see in there like that, well, the college that I went to, Livingston College, the Rutgers University, um, they had a tree like that right on campus, like we had Africa right on our campus there in Piscataway, New Jersey. Anyway, so I mean, I bring up all that stuff. Uh, I know I'm rambling, but it's, it's, it's important to me to, to notice that a lot of the stuff that we see, I mean, you, you, you can have a personal relationship with this thing. So, so, so that is such a beautiful scene, you know, with the panthers and the trees and the, and the skies and like that. It's just such a wonderful thing. Um, but you now, if I if I'm not identifying with uh, with Killmonger, you know, uh, with uh, and the Jacka, if I'm not identifying, who am I identifying with? Now, remember, this is a film, so I can identify with any characteristic, not just the, the character is one thing, you know, but the characteristic that this character has is something else. Even if I was going to identify with Killmonger, remember, Killmonger when he died, he leaves no heirs. He didn't have no kid out of wedlock or nothing like that. That's typical black American, isn't it? Black male American. Come on, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't lie. Don't lie. You know what I'm talking about. So I can't even relate on that kind of level. But him, him to, him to uh, prepare himself to be a killer and not have and, and not be a tr and, and not have his seed, the seed of a killer. You know. Uh, uh, go beyond him. Meanwhile, he takes a spear and kills himself. You know, suicide. I'm sorry. You know, when I grew up, there was there was black suicide. Wasn't that no no black no suicide? You got a lot of lynching. You got <laughs> you got a lot of you know gang fights with the family. But somebody to willingly says no. I'd rather you know leave you cousin because it was cousin. That's a good name. Leave you cousin. And the cousin would basically say, give him several times, look, we can, we can fix this. We, we can, we, no, because he's trying to be kingly, right? But no, Kilbama wasn't trying to be kingly. It's a, it's, a, it's a darn shame. But anyway, back to the point. So the, 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 the character or the characteristic I identified with most was Nakia, the spy. Because that's what black Americans are. We're spies. We're in the ability to be surrounded by the enemy. You what with 13%, whatever percent of the population, you know, that constantly do our whole history here. We've been set upon, we had to do. I mean, my middle name is John. And I never liked that middle name until I realized that in the folk in black folk or in slavery folklore, John is the person that would that would uh, it, 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 uh, uh, Mr. Samuel Jackson's character in in uh, uh well he wasn't really that in, in, in Django, anyway, Stephen. No, he's not a Stephen, he's a John. John is something different. He's the one he actually can read, he can work. He's, he does the stuff for, for the master, not in a degrading way, way. And then, so he goes to town, you know, he, like say, he'll go past us. Um, they didn't have stop signs, but go past stop signs. They say, boy, what you do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I can't read, man, so I'm, you know, blah, blah. You see what it is? John is a slick one. John is the, whew. in slavery times, John is the spy. John is the spy. <laughs> So for me, all the characters and the thing, you can go your warriors, you can go your, your kings, your, your, your mercenaries, or whatever have you. No, man. It's the key is the one. The key is the key. As far as black Americans identifying with a characteristic, I'd rather identify with the key. One last thing. There's this whole thing about the, the, uh, uh, the CIA, the uh, Eric Ross, Eric K. Ross, Ross guy, the best CIA, you know. And the way, the, the way conventions go, remember, they say, yeah, you know, and he and and and, and uh, he 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 stops Killmonger from you know the, the weapons to go out into the into the into the world and to to look to to arm all these downtrodden people so they can have you know their final liberation. First of all, if you ever been in war, I know a lot of y'all haven't. 
I mean, just talking. You do realize as soon as you fire that first fire, that first gun, that first battle, things go awry. How many? How many? Have you studied guerrilla warfare at all? What, what, what do they do? When you capture something, you take the weapons. So even if their vibranium weapons went out, what's to say that, that, that the so-called enemy couldn't capture a few weapons? And what's that reverse engineering thing? Reverse engineer. So you're still in the big mess. So Killmonger wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. <laughs> just like most black people, they don't think. They just run off at their mouth. No, da 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 Just because they want to identify with I don't know with uh, that. I don't know what they want to do. I do know what we want to identify with. So, so anyway, back to the Eric Kerouac thing. So, so remember, how did he get to Wakanda? He got to Wakanda because he, who did he say? Did he say Nakia? Yeah, and, 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 and the, the, the thing, he took a bullet for somebody, and that's how he would, he would, he would, they could have just left him die, I guess, you know what I mean? But they took him there just like they took a, a bucky, you know, went to shelter there, and they, and he's on ice there too, you know, getting, getting healed, I guess, you know? Well, it's the same thing to me, you know? You know, well, uh, uh, and remember, Eric K. Ross, somewhere in there, he says, you know, Killmonger is like, well, we trained him, he's, he, he's like the Manchurian candidate, you know? <laughs> he's, you know, he's us. You know, you looking at me like I'm the bad guy. But why, he didn't say it this way. But I, 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 they, 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 this is like, it's complex. It's a heavy movie if you really want to look at the script of what the what the brothers was trying to do. You know, so I just want to get all that out because you know I think this is one of the most uh, misunderstood. Well, not misunderstood. The comic nerds got it a certain way. You know, other people got it a certain way. You know, everybody's looking from their little, their little uh, lens. You know, I look at it as a film. You know, I look at the script or whatever have you. And, and to me, it's not the perfect script. But remember, it's a, it's a, it's a superhero movie. They got a lot to deal with. So the script is not going to be like a contained script. It's not going to be like Get Out. It's not going to be like like one of the best scripts I've ever. And you look at the film and you look at the script. It's like The Godfather. You know what I mean? It's like a perfect. It's a really great, greatly written script. You see, like that. So, whew. so look, so I'm, so I'm not going to give a review. Well, maybe I'm mean, still my cook up my people give a review on on uh, on Black Panther, but I, I I really think people need to to calm down and really because it's going to break another record. Let me end it here. It's going to break another record. What made Dave Chappelle really famous? I know it's the Chappelle Show. No, no, no. Well, yes, yes, yes. What really made him famous? That it was a the 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 biggest selling DVD Chappelle show DVD ever. Well, guess what's going to happen with Black Panther? This is the next record. This DVD Blu-ray, whatever you're going to say, this is going to be the, it's going to be huge. It's going to ouch. It's going to be amazing. So another record is going to be set with Black Panther, where they're basically going to rake in a whole lot of money from the DVD. Or the, or the Blu-ray, whatever you do. I don't do Blu-ray because I don't know nothing about that kind of thing. But the DVD. So that's the next record that's going to be broken. Just thought I'd let you know. I being me, T, from the past, is taking a train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Wakanda.